Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Knowledge King, and this is your friend Wasim. And today we are going to see another beautiful concept of React that is hooks. Okay, and sorry for the delay that um, we have posted these videos a bit late, but um, we were doing something else. So, but now, yes, we are back in full fledged, and today we are going to see what are hooks. I'll just give you one simple definition. So think of hooks like functions. Okay. What do we write functions for? We write functions because we have some unique um, purpose in our mind, right? And we are creating function for one specific purpose. Let's take, for example, if we are writing a sum function, so how do we write, so how do we write a sum function? We just, we just write something like um, function, right? Oops, sum a comma b and this function always returns a plus b. Correct? What is this function used for? This function will always and always returns a plus b. So basically the addition. Can we do something like this that we uh, ask this function to multiply and return? No, because we wrote this function for one specific purpose that was like addition. The same way React gives us hooks. So there are multiple inbuilt hooks, we can write uh, custom hooks, there are a lot of things related to hooks. But think of hook something like this, that it is created for one unique purpose. Okay, Each hook has its own kind of purpose, has its own kind of uh, way to write, it, it has its own kind of, um, it, it has its own functionality. Okay, So it, it's as simple. Every hook that we create, it has its own functionality, it's similar to a function. Okay. So yeah, that is like a layman's definition of a hook. Okay, In advance, there are a lot of things that hooks do, does behind the scenes. But for now, for our understanding, let's discuss this as a simple function that has its own kind of functionality. There are like few hooks that we already have, Okay, which, have, which React have given us. So if we go to like our hooks, if you see, we have like there are multiple introduction there are why do we need hook what are the back backend compatibility so i think hook started in somewhere around like 16x version but right now it it is one of the most important feature that uh, the react library has so yeah we we have so many things that we can do with hooks and each hook like as i said each hook has its own way of doing things and there are like uh, there are some hooks that are shown here but there are way different kind of hooks that we have. So basically I divided this hooks okay, into three main categories. I divided it, React does not. React just says that you have hooks, you just use it. But just for our understanding, for our this the knowledge keen audience understanding, I categorized this into like three parts. So what are these three parts? Okay, common, uncommon hooks and advanced hooks. What are common hooks? Basically these are the hooks that we use on a daily basis. So in each Almost if we are creating a feature, we will generally use both of these hooks. We have use state hook and we have use effect hook. What does these things do? We'll definitely go ahead and see in our future videos. But for now, let's have a basic understanding that these are the hooks that we will definitely use in almost each of our feature. The second one, uncommon hook. Okay, so these are like uh, which we are generally not using on a daily basis, but these are those hooks which we have to use, which, which basically improvise the performance of our application. We have used memo, we have used callback, we are not going to use it in small features, but when the feature grows big, we definitely have to use this, okay, just to enhance our feature. It's not compulsory to use this hooks, but they give us some add-on um, benefit for our application. I think that's why we, we categorized into uncommon kind of an hook. The third one is the advanced one. So advanced, basically these are like, in, in itself, those are like full fledged concepts. Context API, we are definitely gonna see that. Use context, so context API has its own hook called as use context. Redux, also another concept, important, a big concept. We are definitely going to see that too. We have use reduces and we have use dispatch. Also we have some more that we, that also will like, we'll, we'll, sometime, we'll see sometime else. Routing, use location, use navigate. So I have just given you some basic um, 
uh, hooks that we use in into into these like concepts. So these are like concepts, and we use them on a on a rare scenarios. Okay, so let's say that if I have context API, if I want to use context API in my application, I'm going to use use context. If I'm if I have included Redux, I'm going to use its own uh, hooks. If I have routing, I'm going to use its own hook, but it's not compulsory that it is going. We are going to use it on a daily basis. So that's why I just moved it into a, into our advanced section because those hooks we write in a different way because we have to adopt its whole whole concept. Then we can write custom hooks, okay? Uh, custom hooks. So React gave us all these inbuilt hooks, but if I want to add some my some of my own unique functionality, I can basically create one hook and it I can use it throughout my application. That is another one, and we have like many other different kind of hooks that we are definitely going to see. But for now, let's start with some of these three basic categories: common, uncommon, and advanced. Each category, I'm going to try and give you some brief information about it, so that you definitely understand what do we use this hook for. I hope understanding hook was easy. Okay, you understand why do we uh, need hook and why React created hook. And if you like this video, please watch our next video. That is definitely going to be important because now we are going to see use effect. Uh, sorry, use state as a next hook. And these each and every hook has its own way of writing and its and has its own way of um, concept. It's it's interesting. So. Let's go jump on to our next video. And if you have understand hook, please give us a thumbs. And if you want to know more about its definition and anything, please leave down a comment. I'll definitely try to answer your comments. Thank you so much, guys, and keep watching.